Hello and welcome to our new lesson. Okay, so now you have bought Super Memo and you have your password. I'm not going to explain that like step because it's very easy. You just put in your password and I'm going to show you what you'll say as soon as you install Super Memo. There is no hard procedure about the installation. So if you have any problem, write them down in the comments, but I'm just going to show you. Okay. Okay. So as soon as you start, what she'll say is this. So what is this? And it's not probably going to be with this specific des design, but uh, I'll show you in a second how to improve that. So <clears throat> What are these two components? Okay, we have two windows here. So this one is the element window. Okay, here you'll see your elements. This one is your knowledge tree, which is just the structure of your knowledge. So we right click new topic. My first topic. Let's make it bold. Okay. And this is our first topic. Okay. Now let's make our first item and our first topic. What is this? Our first item. Okay. So this is a flashcard and this is a set of like a note. You can interpret um, this as a note, nothing more. The real important thing is to not get too confused. So the element window is simply where you will see your elements. Okay. You will visualize, edit, um, do all the stuff with the components that you're, we're going to see in the next lessons. And that's it. Like, yeah, it's let, let's say it's your workbench. Okay. The element window, it's your workbench. The knowledge tree, the window of the knowledge tree is just um, this. So your knowledge structure and you will see the amount of uh, stuff that you have here. Not necessarily on the right, it could be on the left. Okay. But what, you, what we're going to do now is jump straight to professional level. So you do level and do professional because a lot of functions are not available in the beginner level. So we're going to do professional one. Okay. So now you can see that I have much more stuff, right? It's almost kind of confusing and when you will be doing professional you will probably see all these windows so and no actually there is not there should be one more okay yeah you're, you're probably gonna see something like this okay something humongous like this okay so now I'm gonna explain one by one every window okay now let's resize the content window. I like it to be here. This is your element data. Here you can pretty much read the reports about your elements. So there is the type, which concept it belongs to, no one for the moment, which template is in use. Let me open the knowledge tree. Okay. You open the knowledge tree with alt C and that's it. Um, where did the, okay. And this is the ancestor window. L let me show you this before we go farther into this. Uh, I usually close the ancestors window because I don't find it particularly useful. Uh, but it's up to you. What it shows is just um, basically your structure of the knowledge tree, but only for that element. 
So let's say I had another one here. My second topic. And I'm going to put this on the same level as the first one. So now I'm going to go here on the element window. Let me go. And here you see concept. My first topic. What is this? And this is just because it's how it works. It shows one uh, line of the family, just one. Okay. One branch of your family. Uh, specifically, the branch your element is in. And it also shows if this element has children. This one doesn't, sadly. But, okay, uh, rearrange your stuff. And I'll show you what this interface is about and how to make this interface look decent. Okay, so. Okay, um, so I hope my like video didn't disturb your view too much i just moved it so again this is my first topic while i was showing the stuff and this is the second one okay so they're on the same level if this had been here it would have been a child of my first topic but we want this on the same level okay or maybe my first topic is a child of my second topic and it shows it's just a very simple structure. It's very intuitive. It's one of the very uh, intuitive things about SuperMemo. So let's go about making SuperMemo look good. So you go on window. Okay. This is your element save. It's not the toolbar because this is the toolbar. Okay. You, this is your actual toolbar with all this scary stuff. Um, here you have, let's say your option bar. Let's, let's call it like that. So you go on window themes. I usually use tablet dark, but we're gonna use, okay, we're gonna use this one just because it's, no, okay, it's very bad. Um, purple, is it bad? Yes. Mm, silver, okay, let, let's use this one very office looking or actually let, let's just go back to tablet dark honestly yeah feel more comfortable with this okay once you change your theme and uh, and you rearrange your windows there is one very important step before you do anything else which is save you save as default in your case and call it whatever you want to call it um my most used one is called normal which is this one that you see right here and random errors if you see a random error just brush it over it's normal it's super mammal sometimes it does stuff like this but it's, it still works so um, save as default saves your custom layout that you will see here under window. These are my custom layouts and it uh, sets that as the layout to use when you uh, open SuperMemo next time. Okay, so uh, remember save as default. If you want to save a layout Let's say I'm, I'm creating a layout, just do save custom layout if you don't want that to be your standard, okay? Okay, and this is it for the layouts and themes. One very important thing is hints. Turn on the hints. They're very, like, they're, they bother me because right now I do know most of the stuff but if you're a newcomer, you need the hints. Otherwise, you will get lost, okay? And they will also show you if there are shortcuts most of the time, okay? So if you see here, to go back, you see Alt-Left. I just did Alt-Left, Alt-Left, Alt-Left. Okay. Uh, the second step is uh, changing the style of your templates. 
and we're going to see this in the next video.